Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. We talk about their mindset, we talk about their ups, their downs, their triumphs, and most importantly, we share a bit of information at the end to help new creators or those who have been doing it for a while get to that next step. Tonight, I am joined by a special guest. Let me go ahead and read his bio, get him introduced, and we'll get this thing started. Whether it's playing video games, creating content, producing beats, or recording a podcast, Big Fresh has its foot in the doorway of all social media. Music teacher by day, complaining about music teaching by night, he has a multitude of venues to keep people entertained. Fresh is a gamer, musician, an educator, but most importantly, he is growing. His favorite quote is, there's no such thing as difficult. It's just something you haven't practiced well enough. And with that, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, Big Fresh. How are you doing? Welcome to the podcast. Yo, what's <laughs> going on, Kryptonite? Hey, man, I, I'm i glad I got through your uh, bio. That was well written. Goddamn. I had to imagine myself saying it. And I was like, all right, now make it funnier. <laughs> and it's like, all right, cool. So I was like, all right, cool. Just go for that. I like. I knew you were going to do a good job. So I love Yo, it. Yo, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yo, Fresh. First off, thank you for doing the podcast. I appreciate you for doing it. Unbeknownst to you, you are one of those content creators. I'd like being a lurking, like watching from the back end. I'm like, yo, this dude's so cool, man. I don't know if he knows this, <laughs> but this dude's cool as shit. And then I started this and like I had a top 10 list and you was definitely on that list. So thank you for doing this. First of all, I appreciate that. Yeah. It's been, I don't think I'm on anybody's top 10 list. So that's really dope. No, I love it. I actually, I absolutely love the idea of content creators reaching out and doing stuff like that because it, you get yourself out that bubble mm -hmm. and once you're outside that bubble you have done the thing that they told you was necessary which was networking exactly and you're like Fuck. all right cool i guess this is what that, that looks like and that's what it is so yeah that's how we get it done exactly it took me a while to get there but here we are so the sooner you start the quicker you start moving all right fresh what have you been up to and your content creation journey thus far. What's your, what's your last couple months been looking like? Okay, so I have just tried my absolute best to stream. Mm -hmm. I think it's hard for me to always consider myself a streamer because of the lack of streaming I do. <laughs> but <laughs> when I do start, when I do actually start streaming though, yeah. I do implement something new to the stream. So I'm like, I'll sit down. Like today, I literally sat down and I probably spent two hours just changing my raid alert to something else adding a little bit of something extra to it mm -hmm. so my 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 streams become a little bit more interesting and what i spend most of my time at least the last few months mm -hmm. has been on the podcast for sure just trying to get it to a point where it rivals people yes and that's that's what i look at i think my my scope was a lot different when i when we started but now it's like we have that ability or there's a there's a little inkling that says like it's possible for this to go all the way so i focus more on that that is awesome yo congrats on a having that feeling and then recognizing it and executing that's that's dope and everybody who knows it's tough to believe in yourself but when you finally find something and you're like this is actually kind of working mm -hmm. you're like now you got to believe even more oh yeah i want to piggyback on that and when you do get that feeling like it you're like oh this is possible and you can start getting excited and you start like putting your energy in towards that and and stuff starts to click and you know you never know what's gonna end up happening because of mm -hmm. that that pressure so i can't wait man that i like hearing people talk like that like i can i can feel that energy <laughs> coming through the mic i'm like yeah oh, yeah <laughs> oh yeah it's like oh your your fingers start itching one day i got up and i was like you know what i'm just gonna edit and i went and i edit and i was trying to find new things to edit mm -hmm. and i was like all right cool I probably spent like a few days just working on not only just the balance between two voices, yep. but also just working on like, all right, cool. If both of us are talking at the same time, are our EQs actually causing too much of a disruption between the two? Like, <laughs> like I'm literally yep. thinking about those two things to make that. sure that it's a that it works in the car, it works in your headphones, it works in everything. So I'm like, I'm constantly just being like, yeah, oh, but man. this. Is somebody is somebody listening because they want to hear my voice mm -hmm. or they want to hear my opinion or both or what is it? so like i'm constantly just like thinking about 
the audience yes. when I do stuff. Like Fresh. That. You just like, I felt like you jumped into my head and was like, oh, is Crip thinking about it? Let me just pick that out. Yeah, yeah. Let me talk about this. Because those thoughts come up, but I push them down because I'm, I'm new. You know, I just started and I don't, I feel like right if I let myself go down that rabbit hole, podcast a week ain't happening because I will be like, oh, I got to make sure this is perfect. But I do want to get to that point because yeah, to me, it feels good because like I like it. Pol- I like a polish product that I put out. Yeah, some of my stuff is sloppy, but there's a there's a hint of polish on it that you can tell I know what the fuck I'm doing. And before I jump into there, I want to I want to make sure that I'm consistent with it. So I was like, all right, we, we can get one a week out. But that level of mm, well, you well, like I say it like all the time, we started this podcast and I at least the first five episodes I made sure and it still exists. If you ever go in and you read the little blurb that we put in every episode, yeah. it always says something about we're constantly growing and making changes. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. The first five episodes, I had the worst audio issues. Like <laughs> cl- like when I like clipping was happening. And I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I was like, "It's it's my fault. I'm I don't know how to operate microphones anymore. <laughs> I don't know how to operate. Like, there's something going. Like, it's it's because we're doing it online. There's no reason. Like, when I I freaked out. Yeah, and then I finally figured out. Like, I found the thing, and I went, "Y'all can't tell me a damn thing. I'm going to go. F- I mean, I you can't tell me. Jet. Like, I was like, I'm getting in there." And I'm gonna make sure it sounds amazing yes. so that people get in there. And then like we I even changed the scope of how the episode goes now. Uh-huh. And it's ten times more interesting. So I we even take I take a snippet of something interesting that happens. Yeah. And I put it right in the first 10 seconds of the episode. That's smart. And then it just happens. That's the comedy level. Yeah. The intro used to be like 28 seconds. It's now three. And it just goes boom episode start so i do that type of stuff the same stuff that you you talk about like you want to work and put in all that time yeah it's going to cut into you doing that that actual like oh damn i got all this work done but now i didn't even record for like the last two weeks right i'm telling you that the amount of research that i've done that we've both done we'll sit there and she'll come into me and she'll be like i think we should do this and i'll be like all right let me tell tell me why you think that yeah and she'll be like well i did i studied all these different things and i'll go all right cool let's entertain it and see if it works for us yeah and we do that we do it all the time because we are researching what is popular and why it's popular that is awesome and then we go and we take it and we just go all right but now how do we make it our thing exactly that is dope i like i can tell that the work has been put into the podcast every one that i listen to has gotten better from the one before and you could just see that like the levels going up, but y'all are thinking, thinking y'all got some research behind y'all. I love it. I'm trying to get this money. No, because I, can- <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, you know, I just wanted to start some conversation, you know, I do it for the people, you know, yeah, just, exactly. It's, it's for the kids, obviously, because we're here and we're <laughs> doing it. We don't got the bags yet. So, right. <laughs> All right, Fresh. Yo, that's crazy. I, I'm going to be talking your ear off about podcasts. So just get get ready for that. I got it. I got you. We're going to go ahead and slide into our next section. Lessons learned in this section. I like to ask the guest of the evening. What is a lesson that you've learned only because you started a content creation career? So, so you're going to compare yourself all the time Mm -hmm. and you're going to, you're going to look at other people. I spent a lot of time looking at TikToks of podcasts, Instagram reels of podcasts. And I look at them almost in the sense of not judging them always. Like, you know, of course I'm gonna get away with being like, that one sucks. Why does that one have views? Yes. But like, <laughs> but I'll, I'll <laughs> like, or that that's crazy that they're sponsored or even, even crazier. Somebody will, they'll be in a studio and they're not even talking. Yeah. They're just laughing at each other. Yeah. And I'm like, gosh, if you only knew the amount of creativity that I had on my bones for me to do some <laughs> simple stuff. So like, I constantly think about those things and I'm like, all right, cool. I can compare myself for maybe five minutes mm-hmm. out of 30. But then the rest of the 25 is, all right, cool. What is it that they do that gets you so attracted to the clip? What is it that they're doing? And then I also think about just because this clip was 30,000 views or 10K likes does not mean that people are listening to the podcast. Facts. And so the two things that I, I always remember is like, you know, we've had people say it before. I turn the viewership off mm-hmm. and I put my head down 
and I just go to work. Yeah. And I find each and every way to make something, every project of mine, a personal project. Because at the end of the day, if I buy something off of someone, like like an overlay, or if I purchase this, I don't know, this filter that makes my voice sound 10 times better, like at the same time, I can then turn around and let somebody else tell me, oh, that was trash. I was like, well, I bought it. I bought it. Uh, it wasn't me. But no, I like to have that personal connection to it so that I feel like at the end of the day, no matter what you said, I completed something. Exactly. So I'm constantly feeling like if I keep, I keep judging things, but I judge them to a point of, all right, was it good or bad? And then I take the rest of the time and I go, all right, what can I learn from this? Maybe I should, okay, this guy's podcast is a little bit more energy given. All mm-hmm. right. Do I need to be more energetic? Uh, is there too much breaks or pauses in my podcast? Do I need to make sure that this is happening? And I'll keep evaluating myself so that I can give the best version of myself Yes. without feeling like I failed myself. Hell yeah. I love that. That is a goddamn. That's a huge <laughs> lesson to learn, not only from content creation, but you could take that anywhere because... I remember uh, back when I used to work in corporate America, uh, fuck that. Um, <laughs> I was constantly comparing myself to my coworkers and I was, and I'm not bragging. I was 10 times better than almost everybody I ever worked with in every Talk job I had. Like, absolutely. Like it was crazy. And I, every time I would go into a new job, self doubt, I'm like, Oh no, they've been doing it for a while. And then like two, three weeks in, I'm like, Oh, y'all ain't no shit. All right, bet. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so I, I'm i taking that over to creation, like not in the sense that I'm better than everybody, but in the sense that like I'm just putting my head down. I know what I like. I know what I want to accomplish and just push forward. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks right now. Mm-hmm. When I get to the point where I need to start taking feedback, because like, again, I just started this. Don't get me wrong. Everybody who's been giving me feedback and assistance, I appreciate it. But I'm not like freaking out when someone's like, hey, you're, you, you know, this was loud on the first episode. I was like, I know, but I just pushed that bitch out because. Exactly. Fuck it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So many people are afraid to just put, I love those videos. You have, I know you've seen it where they're just like, yo, just, just post it. Yes. Right. And they'll tell you to just post it. Yes. Sometimes I feel like, and, cause I come from a, a history of like going to like music schools mm-hmm. and like I graduated with a music degree. So a lot of the times we spend a lot of time trying to create what they call a hundred days of practice. Right. Okay. There was a violinist, Hil- Hillary Hahn, and she's famous for this. 100 days of practice movement. It was a hashtag. Mm-hmm. And it was just post a video of you practicing 100 days straight. And no matter what it is, no matter what you've done, just show the practice. And so a lot, like thousands of people, millions at, at, at certain points of just posting them practicing, mm-hmm. even if it was good or bad. And some people have learned that their bad practices are very entertaining to other individuals. <laughs> and so they were like, oh, so I remember posting something and I was like, this is the, probably one of the worst takes I've ever had on this particular 19 bars of music. Yeah. And somebody's like, yo, you're killing it over there, man. Just keep working at it. And I'm like, yo, um, can you, can, can you live in my head yeah. and believe in me when I don't believe in me? <laughs> like, jeez. Yo, that is a dope. I like that movement. Just get out there, start posting. Trust me, you'll get over that feeling of, oh my God, is this whack? Or are people going to judge me? You'll get to a point of, I don't want to say not caring, but it's a point of not caring. And you're just going to be like, I have, I'm having fun with this. I'm posting this up. And, and just watch what happens to those numbers. They start moving. Yeah. How do you grow if you don't plant? Facts. Answer the question, somebody. Uh, that doesn't, doesn't like. <laughs> how do you see growth if you don't plant? One of my other favorite quotes, right, is that mm-hmm. growth and comfort don't live in the same house. So bars. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be so used to being that person that's like, all right, cool. Well, it was easy for me to get up today and not do the thing that could have made me better. It's easier for me to just get up and not do the thing that could have made me rich and famous, or I could just get awkward. And go do that yes. and then see what it's like. Exactly. Because those people who actually are successful, who are the things that you want to be, they live the lifestyle that you don't mm. for the sake of being the thing that you are not. So you have to figure out how to be that. And that means not being yourself sometimes. Exactly. 
Exactly. I can. Oh my god. Fresh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. what are you, what are you, this podcast is over. And fuck everything else that we had. I've been waiting for this podcast, yes. my brother. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ooh, I appreciate it, man. You again, you know what? We're just going to roll right into it because you've already done this the, since you started. But words of advice is a section I would like to uh, call out for either new streamers who have aspirations of becoming a content creator or someone who's been doing it for a while and might be on that that oh you know what i might just i might just call it who do you want to talk to and what advice would you give them i can pretty much talk to both hey and, and do, do you and in that mindset i'm gonna I'm try <laughs> i can only do all i can do is try exactly the best thing to do is for you to is to fail right and and it's weird to say it that way but the mindset of failure is not what you want what you want to do is approach things as if you're going to give your absolute best right and failing only occurs when you have given up failing really only happens when you've done something it falls apart and then you don't try to build it that's the failure mm -hmm. if you build a boat create an overlay make a song and it doesn't go the way you want it's not a failure it's a try mm. So you, you continue to try over and over and over again, but it's not failing until you start, you know what, I can't do this no more. But you have to put through that, that effort and understand that like the thing that makes you you could be that you have the world's most infectious laugh and you just have to create a, a system where you're going to be laughing enough to make clips and, and scenes for people to just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You have to learn so much about you and you have to be so introspective of who you are as a person mm -hmm. that at some point in your life you're going to be like damn i really have grown but that doesn't come from you just sitting there just being like all right you know another day i just i'll just i think i'll just stream today mm -hmm. i'll just figure it no put it together get the get everything together and when it falls apart you go, all right, what did I, all right, what happened here? All right, what do I need to fix? All right, what do I need to do next time? Because mm -hmm. there will be a next time. Because if there is no next time, that's a failure. Oh my God. That, that's fresh. You killed that. That hit both people who want to start, that people who've been doing it for a while. What, fresh, what, you are a goddamn superhero, man. I'd be trying, bro. Trust me. I've said this to kids in fourth and fifth grade, and it goes right over the head. I, so now, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's getting you. It's coming out now. Yeah, yeah, we uh we got to get more of that out there because uh, God damn, that is I as you were speaking, I kind of forgot that I was on a podcast and I was like, yo, is this man <laughs> speaking to me? I was like, yeah, me? hell yeah, yeah, yes. Because no, I am. Thank you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, but to circle back, like there is definitely a point where you come to the realization that you have changed. And that feeling is wild. Like you look back at all the stuff that you were like, oh, I used to be worried about this, or you this used to give me a certain feeling. And you look back and you're like, no, I've changed. Like I'm different. Like literally. Mm -hmm. All right. And then that's another surge of energy you can take to wherever you decide to take it. But um, fresh, my God. I I'm in awe. You know what? I'm going to be cocky for a yeah. second. Yes. I'm going to pat myself on the back because let's go. I, I've been picking motherfuckers who know what the fuck they talking about. I was like, I saw you, you. I see your aura and I'm like, this man know what he's talking about. He, I'm going to get this man on the podcast and <laughs> change somebody's <laughs> life. God damn. Oh, all right. I'm done. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> hey, hey, and I'm going to pat you on the back for having the consistency to continue on with these podcasts and make hey, it happen. Man. I, I appreciate it and it's been feeling good. So, and everything I've touched with the podcast, like my wife was like, yo, you've been mad consistent with it. Cause she noticed when I'm not because my, my whole mood changed, but she's like, you've been like upbeat and I've been listening to all of yeah. them. They're really good. And I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Just stay forward, yeah. keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. So I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, we have reached the last section of the podcast. That is a call to action. And this is where we uh, give a call to action to the people listening. So Fresh, I'm going to give you the first up. What would you like the listeners to do? All right. I want y'all to continue to believe in yourselves because Lord knows 
I'm going to tell you right now, if you have any type of doubt, I, I just need you to go ahead and just get rid of that, right? Please. I'm going to give you the best piece of advice, and I know I just did advice, but one of the best pieces of advice I got was I used to say to myself that I was good, but I wasn't great. And that when I became great, I was great, but I wasn't excellent. And I kept looking at myself as this person where I lived on a level, like level one, but I wasn't at level two. So it kept giving me a reason to keep pushing forward. Mm -hmm. And a teacher, guy from Norway, he comes in and he says, I understand your approach. What if you saw yourself as the level that you have not reached so that you don't make the mistakes of the level that you're already on? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again so that people understand what I mean. If you are saying that you're good, but you're not great, you should consider yourself great so that you don't make the mistakes that only good people make. Woo. And I started believing in myself yes. as being the person that wore the suit for the job that I wanted mm -hmm. and not the job that I already had. And when I started doing that, it became a whole big, beautiful thing. The other thing I want you to do is listen to the podcast, the Get Fresh Crew podcast. I was about to say, no, no, we got to circle back to the podcast. No, no. <laughs> no, for real. Check out the podcast, the Get Fresh Crew podcast. Uh, it's on Spotify. It's everywhere. Where, where are we sitting at? It's everywhere. It's spread out. It's, we have YouTube videos of it now. Like We've been had YouTube videos of it. Yeah. It's out there. It's on anywhere you get your, your podcast. Come listen to the Get Fresh Crew podcast. Highly recommended. They are a great couple of podcasters to listen to if you don't listen to their podcast and you're not laughing there's something wrong with you and we can't be friends i'm not even kidding yeah it's simple as that even sleep people listen to it and they be cracking up i tell you <laughs> what they just sleep? Be, they be just be knocked out <gasps> <laughs> it just it happens all the time so trust and believe it happens oh my the only goodness. way you're gonna know if you experience it exactly so come on make up. it happen <laughs> All right, let me get ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do my call to action, I suppose. As always, if you know anyone, any other creators or anyone, and for that matter, who needs to hear conversations like this and many others, please share the podcast with them. Let them know, upload it and unfiltered or talking about some real stuff. And you should mm -hmm. probably listen to it. My goal for this podcast is to get other creators to talk to each other and share their feelings and their lessons and their mindsets, because with that, we can all grow together. There's enough food on this table for all of us. So let's go get it. All right. With that, Fresh, thank you again, sir. I really, really appreciate it. I'm not, I'm, I try not to geek out. I, I did a little bit, but whatever. I don't care. It's my <laughs> podcast. Um, I appreciate you, man. But thank you for real. Absolutely, bro. Yo, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I've been waiting for this conversation. So I'm even, I'm just happy that it got recorded, you know? Hell yeah. And there's more to come. So again, I appreciate you, brother. All right. With that, again, thank you for listening to the podcast. I appreciate you all who are listening. Again, if you are subscribed to the channel, go ahead and leave a podcast review. I don't know what that means, but they tell me that we need to do it. So somebody make that happen. Anyways, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.